Despite wanting to be very faithful to the books, Henry Cavill revealed that he didn't have much control over The Witcher's story. Welcome to Stats In. If you're just joining us, please subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications bell for more videos. Henry Cavill plays Geralt of Rivia in Netflix's The Witcher adaptation. Based on Andre Sapkowski's short stories that have already been adapted into fan-favorite video games, the Netflix series had a successful first season but saw decline in its second and third seasons. Cavill left the series after the third season where he was set to reprise his role as Superman in the DCU before James Gunn rebooted the franchise and was replaced by Liam Hemsworth. In an interview, Cavill admitted that he didn't have much control over the show's story and tried to stay true to the character. As one of the most popular actors in Hollywood, Henry Cavill has had surprisingly little success. The actor is best known for his role as Superman in Zack Snyder's Man of Steel and its sequels in the DCU. However, while the films received good box office numbers, the responses to them were controversial. His other films, such as The Man from UNCLE, e, Argyle, and The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, did not see box office success. However, the actor still has a huge fan base that considers him the ultimate generation Superman. He also received acclaim for his performance as Geralt of Rivia in The Witcher. While the actor left the role after season three and will be replaced by Liam Hemsworth in the upcoming fourth season, he stated that he has little control over the events of the show and that he did his best to keep his character faithful to the books. Via conversations, Fortunately, I like strong opinions when it comes to this stuff because I'm the same way, I feel the same way about the source material that I'm incredibly loyal to. This is something I want to see represented in the best way possible. I cannot control the events of my work. I can't control plot lines. And I can't draw anything really. But I can influence my personality. The actor's performance was received positively, with many critics identifying his role as a standout. Henry Cavill has seen many failures in his life. After seeing some success in the spin-off The Tudors, the actor's subsequent film roles have received divisive responses and mediocre box office numbers, with the exception of the DCU films. However, the success of Netflix's The Witcher has reportedly boosted his confidence and reputation as a bankable actor. Cavill told the talks that the massive success of the series has helped him as an actor. When you collect projects that can be considered commodities, and your commodity is popular in a media outlet, someone else will say, hey, that's a great commodity, let's put it in our project, and then, hopefully, we'll get more people to come see our movie or TV show. So the success of The Witcher has an impact on that aspect of working as an actor. The actor was also recently seen in Deadpool and Wolverine as a different version of Wolverine and will appear in Guy Ritchie's upcoming film in the gray. Henry Cavill's surprise appearance as Wolverine has caused quite a stir in the MCU, with fans speculating about his future in Deadpool and Wolverine and beyond. Hold on to your adamantium claws, because the Wolverine rumor mill is just starting to rev up gear. According to an industry insider, Henry Cavill may be far from done with the MCU, and fans are divided. While we've seen him flex his superhuman muscles as Superman, the idea of Cavill unleashing Wolverine's wrath has everyone intrigued. Could this be the role that catapults him back to superstardom? With Cavill having an intense fan base and the MCU needing some mutant magic, it seems like the perfect storm for a major casting coup. The idea of Cavill wearing claws is wild enough to fuel all our X-Men dreams. And perhaps the next chapter of the MCU. Cavill was born in Jersey, the largest and southernmost of the Channel Islands, which are dependent territories of the British Crown and are located off the coast of Normandy, France. He is the fourth of five sons of Marianne Cavill, née Dobliesh, a secretary, and Colin Cavill, a stockbroker. The family lived in St. Helier, where Henry Cavill grew up playing computer games with his brothers. At age 13, he left Jersey to attend the Stowe School, a boarding school in Buckinghamshire, England. At Stowe, Cavill developed an interest in acting and participated in school productions, including Grease, A Midsummer Night's Dream, and Tom Stoppard's Dog's Hamlet. At age 16, he and his classmates had the opportunity to be extras in the movie Proof of Life, 2000, starring Russell Crowe. While on set, Cavill introduced himself to the recent Oscar winner who encouraged him to pursue acting professionally. Cavill soon landed a role in Vendetta, 
2001, followed by another in Kevin Reynolds' big screen adaptation of The Count of Monte Cristo, 2002. For the part of Albert Mandigo, Cavill, who has said that he was teased for being overweight as a kid, was encouraged to lose several pounds. In addition, Cavill had guest roles in a number of British television shows as well as supporting parts in the coming-of-age film I Capture the Castle, 2003, and an adaptation of the Celtic romance Tristan Plus a Sold, 2006. During this period, Cavill auditioned for several iconic roles, including Superman and James Bond, which ultimately went to Brandon Routh in Superman Returns and Daniel Craig in Casino Royale, both 2006, respectively. Those setbacks led him to consider following in the footsteps of two of his elder brothers and joining the armed forces. In 2007, however, Cavill garnered his first leading role in The Tudors, a cable series following the exploits of Henry VIII, played by Irish actor Jonathan Rhys Myers. Cavill portrayed Charles Brandon, a loyal courtier to the king. The series helped make Cavill a familiar face, and during its four seasons, 2007-10, he also appeared in such films as The Adventure Fantasy Stardust, 2007, and the Woody Allen comedy Whatever Works, 2009. After the Tudors, Cavill proved his skill as an action star, playing Greek hero Theseus in Immortals, 2011, and the son of a CIA agent, played by Bruce Willis in The Cold Light of Day, 2012. In 2011, Cavill announced that he had been cast as Clark Kent slash Superman in Man of Steel, 2013. He later admitted that he had missed the call from director Zack Snyder offering him the job because he had been playing the online game World of Warcraft. To portray the Man of Steel, Cavill transformed his body, adding so much muscle that he sometimes split the seams of his Superman costume. He also had the opportunity to work alongside Crow, who played Superman's father, Jor-El. Cavill went on to reprise the role in Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, 2016 starring opposite Ben Affleck as Batman and in Justice League, 2017, featuring such DC comic book heroes as Wonder Woman, played by Israeli actress Gal Gadot. In between Superman films, Cavill starred in director Guy Ritchie's big-screen adaptation of The Man from UNCLE, 2015, playing a CIA agent who teams up with a KGB agent, played by Army Hammer, and in Sand Castle, 2017, portraying a Special Forces captain on a 2003 tour of Iraq. Cavill then played the main antagonist in Mission, Impossible, Fallout, 2018, the sixth installment of Tom Cruise's Mission, Impossible series. In 2019, he assumed the lead role in the hit Netflix series The Witcher, based on the novels by Polish author Andrzej Sapkowski, whose sources include Polish mythology and Slavic folklore. Cavill played Sherlock Holmes, the elder brother of aspiring sleuth Enola Holmes in the movies Enola Holmes, 2020, and Enola Holmes 2, 2022. In 2022, Cavill had a cameo as Superman in Black Adam, renewing speculation that he was planning a return to the role five years after Justice League. Cavill confirmed the rumors in the fall, but a couple of months later he wrote on Instagram that the studio had decided to go in a different direction. <laughs>